Hey guys, today we are at Dollywood for the I Will Always Love You Music Festival, or should I say Food Festival also, because they've added a lot of items on the food tasting pass. Last year they didn't even have a tasting pass. We're gonna go around and show you everything that's available on that, try about 10 of them, and throw in some clips from the new shows. This festival runs till April 14th. I wanna give a shout out to one of our youngest subscribers, Simon, we hope to see you at Dollywood someday. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. We are at Show Street Ice Cream. We're gonna head in here and get our tasting pass and see if they have any new caramel apples and fudge. There's a couple items on the tasting pass. Strawberry cheesecake milkshake, raspberry cookies and cream. They are both $8.99 if you wanna just come in here and buy them and not use the pass. Just picked up our I Will Always Love You tasting pass. It's $39.99. If you have a gold pass, it's $36.99. So with tax, since we have a gold pass, it was $40.07. So what this pass does, we're able to get five items on the I Will Always Love You food menu. We're gonna show you all of them. You wanna use this on the higher price ones. And there's a butterfly showing you which ones you can use them on. We will show you that. This year they have 14 entrees, eight desserts, and three drinks. You don't want to use them on the drinks because I think the drinks are only like six or seven dollars. You want to use them on the stuff that costs around thirteen. That way it'll save you money. And this pass is good until the end of this festival. You don't have to use it all in one day. If you come back for a couple other days, you can use it then. Yes. I'm with Dee and she's going to go over the new caramel apples for this year. Hello. This uh, apple right here is our milk chocolate with heart sprinkles. The next one is a dark chocolate sea salt and then we have the caramel apple dipped in white chocolate and down here on the bottom is our turtle apple in the middle is our apple pie apple and then we have the drumstick apple and which one's your favorite my favorite is the drumstick apple we'll have to try that one sometime and you have some new fudge over here yes we do for the festival we have the caramel delight which is a coconut vanilla and chocolate fudge mango lemonade Harmony is our milk, milk chocolate and vanilla mixed. And then we have our strawberry shortcake, which has strawberry and vanilla wafers inside of it. That sounds good. So have a new called Dolly's Delight, which is a caramel, almond, and coconut, kind of like a cookie. And then it's dipped in milk chocolate. Well, we thank you for going over these with us. You're welcome. Appreciate thank it. you. Another place you can pick up your tasting pass is at the bakery. You don't have to go to the ice cream shop. Dollywood does a great job every festival on their decorating of the cupcakes, sugar cookies, and all these festival treats. Make sure you visit the bakery, and you can pick up cinnamon bread in here also. All the foods we're going to try on this tasting pass were done over a three-day period. We didn't eat all this in one day, guys brought back the love this is a perfect place for a selfie let's get started on the tasting pass we're gonna start off at Market Square let's see what they have and here we'll be able to show you what we're talking about what you can get so their menu here is the potato tornado the twisted dog have some potato chips and then I will always love you punch. If you look, you will see the ones that have the butterflies beside them, those two. That's what you can get with the tasting pass. You cannot get these two. We're gonna try the fried potato chips as our first item this morning. Even though we're gonna be using two tasting passes to try all this, we will show you what this cost if you don't wanna use a tasting pass. The potato chips are $14. Also at the marketplace, they have these other three items for the tasting pass. We're gonna come back later and maybe try this succotash skillet. They have peanut butter, hot chocolate. You can see it's only 
you want to buy that, just buy it. Don't use the tasting pass on it. Use the tasting pass for the higher items. Appalachian fried potato chips. Snacking has never been more delicious with this combination of barbecue spiced potato chips loaded with bacon, cheese sauce, ranch dressing, and scallions. I'm glad we used a tasting pass on this. This would have cost $13. Don't think I would have paid $13 for the serving size that you're getting. But with a tasting pass, that's fine. I could smell the scallions when you brought this to the table. Let's see, if I get a little bit of everything. There you go. These are very good. We like potato chips. They're crisp, cut thin. That reminds me of a nacho cheese. I like the scallions and the bacon on it and the ranch. You like everything on that. It's a good combination, I'm John. I'm anxious to try You're it. You have to try these. But they do look very good. Bacon's going to add to it. And they're warm. Look at this one, guys. This is loaded with everything. Everything about these is good except one thing. It says they're barbecue spice potato chips, and I see no barbecue flavoring on them. Tried one without anything on it. Couldn't taste any of that. Maybe they forgot to put the barbecue seasoning on it. But just take that out. The cheese is a nacho cheese like Bobby talked about, and it's got some heat to it on the back end. A little smokiness from that bacon. I am enjoying these. I'm glad they added this to the menu. And again, like we told you earlier, use a tasting pass. I wouldn't want to pay $13 for those. I don't think there's enough in there. And maybe next time, we'll put some barbecue spice on them. Now, I didn't get a lot of heat from the nacho cheese, maybe because I had so many other flavors going on. You had more nacho cheese, I, I think, on yours. And I tried it by itself, just tasted the cheese, and it does have some spiciness to it. They're very crispy. Well, we're finished. This is the last chip, and they are still crisp. All the way through. Yeah, with all those toppings. And I can really taste the onions as we ate more of them. There's a lot of onions in here, scallions. That's a good thing. It is. <laughs> Just left the marketplace after trying out the potato chips, and now we're gonna go right next door to this festival fair stand and see what they have. Maybe we'll try something here. Looks like all four of these are available on the tasting pass, and they're baked potatoes. You can get them stuffed with turkey pot roast, hog back tater, spinach and artichoke dip, and they have a drink. I will always love you, punch. I think for today, we're gonna try this one. Here are the prices. Those are $14 for the potatoes if you buy them without the pass. So another one that you wanna use the pass on. Hog back tater, blend the sweetness of barbecue sauce with the hearty flavor of smoked pork shoulder, cheddar, and pickled jalapeno. Then place it atop a baked potato for a dish with all the taste. Pretty good size baked potato. And it looks like there's some scallions on there also. They had this at Miss Lillian's last year, you could buy it. Miss Lillian's is under construction this year, so if you want one of these pork potatoes, this might be the only place you can get it. Take some from the center. Yeah, the fork goes in it pretty good. Let's get some potato down in here. It's a big potato. It is. There's some pulled pork, some sour cream, some cheese, I think I got it all. A lot of flavors going on here. The barbecue sauce reminds me of a vinegar-based barbecue sauce, not a sweet baby raise. The pulled pork is very tender. These jalapenos they use here at Dollywood are very spicy. I like them. What about you, Bobby? But if I try the jalapeno with the potato and the meat, I'm good. And the baked potato is big mm -hmm. and it's hot. It's done well. It's a very filling meal. It right is. There. And you can taste a little bit of that sour cream on there. I couldn't get a lot of the flavor of the cheese, even though there's a, a lot of it on there. The pulled pork, it is tender. I just wish they would put more sour cream on the potato, because that is a big it baked is. potato. Yes, yeah, when you got down towards the end, you didn't have a lot of toppings. It was just mainly a plain baked potato. And a little more of the barbecue sauce. I like that. We are back at the Pines Theater to see the Kingdom Heirs. They moved them. They have been here at Dollywood for 39 years. 
There's been many lineup changes, but they're still very good. Let's head in and watch them. Have a new lift system on the lightning rod does not go up nearly as fast as it used to but maybe now it won't break down as much I think they retired our pink Cadillac Bobby I think it needs a new paint job. Can't hardly tell it's pink anymore has the Elvis license plate on it too. I'm gonna head by Dolly's Tennessee Mountain Home. Try some more tasting items. This stand has four of them. I'm gonna get one today and two when we come back again. But we'll look at all four of them while we're back here. Let's take a look at them. Smoked bologna burnt ends, braised chuck roast and potatoes, barbecue chicken melt, hot cranberry tea. Let's head in and get the barbecue chicken melt. Today. Let's look at the price. <laughs> barbecue chicken melt would be $15 without the tasting pass. Thank you. This flavorful sandwich features barbecue chicken smothered with white cheddar cheese and caramelized onions, has dill pickles and coleslaw. Let's take a look at it, Bobby. Look at the steam coming off of that. See the white cheddar sauce? Worth using the tasting pass, because that is $15 if you don't use it. I was gonna put some coleslaw and pickles on this to start off with, but I'm gonna try it without anything right now. Dollywood's hitting it out of the ballpark this year with everything. Now you can get a small hint of those onions that are on there, giving you a little bit of sweetness. But the barbecue sauce they're using, not sure what kind it is. It's not sweet baby rays, at least it doesn't taste like it to me. Chicken's tender. And you can get a little bit of flavor from that white cheddar sauce. But those big chunks, looks like that's a grilled chicken breast. I will probably put some pickles on there and give it that extra crunch. I'm gonna try some coleslaw and pickles on mine. I tried the coleslaw by itself. It's a vinegar base. That's very good. The chicken's tender. I get some tanginess from those pickles and the coleslaw and a little bit of sweetness from those caramelized onions. Could you taste the cheese on there? No, I couldn't taste any cheese. Probably with the coleslaw and everything else, it covered that up. I like the barbecue sauce they're using. It's sweet, but I don't think it's sweet baby rays. It doesn't taste like it to mm -hmm. me. And that's what they normally use down there. Maybe it is, it's blended in with the cheese, but it just doesn't taste like sweet baby rays, but it is good. It is good. After finishing that sandwich, that's gonna be a contender at the end when we pick what's our favorite thing for the day. And another thing, that chicken, I think has been marinated in something because it has a lot of different flavors going on, more than what's just on top of it. And as I looked at it, you could see like pepper and stuff on it. Very good, Dollywood. And the bun, really soft. Back in the village at Iron Horse Pizza. I'm gonna show you a couple other items on the tasting pass. We're not gonna get either one of them. Grilled chicken and sausage flatbread. And they have a solid shaker. Let's see what these cost if you're paying for them, not using a pass on them. $13 on the flatbread, 11 on the salad shaker. Here's a look at the salad shakers. They're pretty good size and a lot of olives in there. Bobby would enjoy that.
Welcome to Timber Canyon. We're headed down to Lumberjack Pizza to get another item on the tasting pass. We have arrived at Lumberjack's Pizza. Here's what they have for the food pass, the grilled chicken and sausage pizza. Let's head in. Here are the pizzas. Here's the one that we are getting. Let's see what the pizza costs without the pass. It is $12.99. We're gonna go inside here and eat. Get out of the windy weather. Grilled chicken and sausage pizza. Tempt your taste buds with an appetizing combination of grilled chicken, crumbled sausage, basil pesto, and pink tomato cream sauce on this hearty pizza. You can really see that pesto on there. Looks pretty good. I see some Parmesan on there. I'm gonna try this piece because I can see some sausage and a piece of chicken right there. The sauce should be creamy, knowing that it has cream in it. Let's see the bottom of it. It's not burnt. And it's pretty hot. It's just sitting in that case in there, but it, it's not cold. There we go, see all the toppings. First of all, the crust is really soft. Even the main crust going around is soft. It's not crunchy, so they prepared it well. It's thick too. It is thick. That's more of a personal size. Uh, you can taste a lot of cream in that. I don't know if it's coming from the, the cream tomato sauce that's on there, because that's normally just uh, crushed tomatoes, garlic, onion, and a cream, or it's coming from the cheese. Then you get a little bit of that basil flavor. Not a lot, small hint of garlic. And the bite that I had, I had chicken and the sausage in it. I couldn't taste the chicken, but I could taste the sausage. Had a mild flavor to it. It's pretty good. Going to the crust connoisseur. What did you think about it? I really enjoyed the crust. It's soft and thick. I'm getting that garlic flavor, and I'm figuring that's from the pesto. Put a lot of cheese on this one. They did. The more I've eaten of the pizza, I can get a lot more garlic flavor in it. And that sausage is very flavorful. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of taste from the chicken, but I think it's cut pretty small. Yeah, I didn't taste hardly any chicken. There's a lot more sausage in there. So it is pretty good though. But they did a good job preparing the pizza. They did. Made it back to the Till and Harvest Food Hall. Another area you can use your tasting pass. I think they have one thing in here, Brussels sprouts. Let's head in. Crispy Brussels sprouts. They didn't have a picture inside of this. If you would buy this without the tasting pass, it is $10.99 and this has all kind of things on it. Let's just get started. A mouthwatering mixture of crispy sweet chili Brussels sprouts, lemon ricotta, bacon and craisins are placed atop a garlic toasted sourdough slice with an olive oil drizzle and is also served with maple glazed sweet potatoes. I'm guessing that is goat cheese on top. That's not listed. That's too pretty to eat. They did a good job with the presentation. It's so pretty. Notice it's on some sourdough bread. Looks like it's toasted. Look at those Brussels sprouts. I did bring two forks, John, just in case you'd like yeah. to try the sweet potatoes. I don't think potatoes. I'll be trying it. I tried to get a little bit of everything. I wanted you to see how it was toasted. I did a good job preparing that. I get a lot of sweetness from the maple syrup, the dried cranberries, you get some tartness, tanginess from the lemon. You just, got, you just got all kinds of flavors. And I get a little bit of heat from the chili. Yeah, you got that sweet chili yeah. sauce on there. But something I don't see in this is bacon. It's supposed yeah. to have bacon on there. I don't see any bacon pieces. Or you would have got maybe a little smoky flavor to it. I'm gonna try Brussels sprout and sweet potato separately. Because there's just a lot of flavors going on. Brussels sprouts and the sweet potatoes are tender. I like the combination of the goat cheese and the cranberries. The goat cheese is creamy and you get a little bit of the tanginess from the cranberries. To me, this is worth $10.99 with everything that's on here, plus tax. So it's worth using the tasting pass on it for, but if you just want to buy one, yeah, that's a pretty good deal for $10.99. That's a good helping, because you have the sourdough bread. This one would be filling. 
that probably has the most ingredients of anything we have ever tried down here on this tasting pass. And you like everything that's on there, and I pretty much don't like hardly anything that's yeah. on there. So I guess this is all me. It's all you. <laughs> Just wanted to show you all the craisins that are in there, which are basically dried cranberries. There's a bunch of those. Plenty of sweet potatoes and everything. They didn't skimp on anything on this dish. We are back at Market Square and we decided to try one of these chicken and smoked sausage succotash skillets. We weren't going to get it, changed our mind. If you're not using the pass, this is $12.99. Take a look at this one. A variety of vegetables combined with smoked sausage and chicken for a hearty succotash dish that will delight. It has what, green beans in it? Onions, corn, peppers, sausage, chicken. Got everything. Bobby should like this one. And potatoes. Almost forgot the potatoes. This is gonna be a big bite. I got the green beans, the potatoes, carrots, red peppers, and then I tried the chicken. I was telling John how I like the seasoning on the potatoes and carrots and everything. And he went up and asked and they said there's butter, garlic, salt, and pepper. It's seasoned very well. The carrots and potatoes and green beans are tender. I'm not sure which of these dishes I'm gonna pick this year as my favorite. They've done a great job with all of them. I'm gonna try this big piece of sausage. Enjoyed the smoked sausage. It's definitely has a smoky flavor to it. Now it's like a bite of everything. You get some sweetness from those peppers and a little bit of that corn in there. But the way that guy seasoned that with just those basic ingredients just blended everything well together. The grilled chicken is tender. Everything about it. Overall, give that a 10. Two sweet ladies walked up and gave us a pass with two punches left. We don't have enough room to get food, so we're gonna use them on drinks. Even though that's not what you wanna do, because this drink would cost you $5. You don't wanna use a punch on that. We just can't eat any more food. I will always love you, punch. This tangy combination of pineapple pink lemonade spritz topped with pineapple, cherries, mandarin orange, and a strawberry makes a most refreshing sip of flavor. Uh, I don't see any mandarin oranges in there or cherries. We did get one pineapple and a strawberry. That's very good. You can taste the pineapple, some sourness from the lemonade. I'm really enjoying this one. Thanks, ladies, for giving us the pass so we can try one of the drinks. I don't think I have ever heard of pineapple pink lemonade. Not Just regular pink lemonade. That is good. I tried it already, guys. We are back at the Festival Fair stand. Gonna try the braised chuck roast and potatoes. And while we're here, we're also gonna get the smoked bologna burn-ins. We brought this back to the table and this is all about presentation. It's slow cooked beef chuck roast, buttery mashed potatoes, carrots, and crispy fried onions. And it has barbecue sauce on it. It's a good portion sauce. It is. Maybe plenty of Chuck roast, mashed potatoes, carrots. There's some uh, barbecue sauce on the meat. So I'm gonna try it by itself. First thing I notice is how tender this meat is. Because chuck roast, if it's not prepared right, can be chewy. It's got a good beef flavor. Look at all that, John. They gave me a, a nice portion. They did. The potatoes have a nice butter flavor too. The carrots are tender and sweet. And I tried it. 
That is some tender chuck roast. Mm -hmm. I like the barbecue sauce that's on there. I think it's sweet baby rays on this one. It hasn't been on some of the other ones, but eating that together with the fried onions gives it an extra crunch and sweetness. It does. Another good meal. I mean, if you're gonna buy this without the tasting pass, it's gonna cost you $15. That's probably why they gave you a lot of chuck roast. Yeah. Everything that we've bought with the pass this year have been a nice portion size. It has. Except, well, take that back. Except the potato chips. All the potato chips, yeah. This is the item I've been looking forward to trying the most. Smoked bologna burnt ends. It's smoked bologna burnt ends and served with stone ground mustard and dill pickles for a unique southern dish. Missing something. There's no stone ground mustard. They ran out, so they gave me extra dill pickles. And there's some scallions on top. I wanted to dip this bologna in the mustard. Guess I can't do it. That's a big chunk of bologna. Now, normally burnt ends are pretty crispy. You don't see a lot of crispiness to these. I'll let you know. Let's talk about the name first. Smoked bologna burnt ends. Burnt ends are usually crispy. There's nothing crispy about these. I would just call these smoked bologna. I mean, it has a great flavor. It's in that barbecue sauce. Can't taste a lot of the barbecue sauce. I don't know if it's flavors cooked out of it or what. So if you like smoked bologna, you would like this. Me, I was excited thinking it was gonna be a little crispy on the outside, even though tender. It's gonna have that mustard to dip it in. That would bring it up a notch. Don't have that. I'm disappointed because I don't have the mustard and it's not crispy, even though it is good. I'm still a little disappointed. Mm -hmm. I think it needs to be crispier too. Yeah, you tried it. Mm -hmm. It's just smoked bologna. That should be what it's called, smoked bologna. Yeah. And you can eat a pickle with it if you want to. It changes a little bit. Barton Back Porch Theater, sing along with Dolly. Hello, everybody. How many of you have dreamed about singing with Dolly Parton? Well, we've got the next best thing. So sing along with some of Dolly's greatest hits. Right here, right now, at the place that is her name, say Dollywood. And what better place to do it, right? Now, here she is, Dolly herself. Back at the Valley Theater, fiddling Leona with her husband, JP. We're back at the Hickory House Barbecue to get another item on the tasting pass. Here's what we are getting. The slow roasted stuffed squash, $12.99 if you're not using the tasting pass. Oven roasted yellow squash, creamed spinach and herbs, and goat cheese are a delicious blend for a healthy and flavorful choice, sure to become a spring favorite. Now there's more items on that and what it's saying. Looks like there's some onion straws, see some peppers in there, and scallions. It's gonna be all Bobby on this one. I'm anxious to try this. I love all sorts of vegetables, especially in the summertime, we grill them a lot. For me. <laughs> mm hmm But we do grill them. We do. I eat a few of them once in a while.
This was very good. You get some tanginess from the cream spinach and the goat cheese. A little sweetness from those red peppers. A little bit of crunchiness from the onion straws. And they gave you two nice size pieces of the squash. They're still firm, but a little bit soft in the middle. I really am enjoying this. I wish I had a little more goat cheese. That's really good. I like that goat cheese. Mm -hmm. Is this a tasting pass only item or is it worth $12.99? I would use a tasting pass with it. They did give you a lot of spinach though. Yeah, $12.99. But I would use the tasting pass. That's the way to do it. So if mm -hmm. you're gonna get this item, tasting pass all the way. Don't spend $12.99 on it. We're back at Celebrity Theater. We're gonna go in and see from the heart the life and music of Dolly Parton. Try something sweet back here at the Crossroads Funnel Cake. They always have a new one for the celebrations or festivals. Strawberry Crunch Funnel Cake. That's what we're gonna get. This is gonna melt quick. Let's just go over it. You will always love this new twist on our famous funnel cakes as strawberry and cheesecake flavors combined with a white chocolate sauce and are topped off with whipped cream and a strawberry crunch. We've got some cheesecake in that. It looks good. But it always seems like the festival funnel cakes are a lot smaller. That one looks smaller than the one from last year. Yeah. It does look good though. A little bit of everything on it. What'd you think? If you like strawberries, this is for you. I like the strawberry cheesecake filling they have here. It's very light and creamy. Get the strawberry crunch. But the uh, funnel cake, I think is a little too crunchy. So if you're going to buy this, use the tasting pass on that. Yeah, that's going to cost you, what, $13? The bigger funnel cakes seem like they're softer. These are just crunchy. Well, it's because they're smaller or if that's just how they want to make them. I don't know. They are crunchy. Mm -hmm. We used a knife to cut this. I couldn't cut it with my fork. And I couldn't even put it on the fork. It's too crispy. I'm going to have to hold it like this. It's hard to cut even with the knife. It is. You're probably going to hear the crunch. Let's just listen. If you like strawberries, you're gonna love the toppings on there. Maybe when you get it, they won't over prepare the funnel cake. It's just too crispy. Hope you guys enjoyed our video from the I Will Always Love You Music Festival. Now let's talk about the food. What was your favorite, Bobby? Dollywood had a great menu for this festival. It's hard for me to pick just one because I enjoyed most of everything we tried. The chicken and smoked sausage skillet was one of my favorites and the braised chuck roast potatoes was my second favorite. The portions were good, except for the potato chips. I could have used a little more of those. And the funnel cake was really small. I liked the toppings on that, but it was just too overdone for me. I'm gonna start off talking about the price. I think the prices on these items were pretty high this year. Like the barbecue melt was $15. So if you're coming to this festival and you wanna try this food, a tasting pass is a must. Because if you buy five of the top price items, you're going to have over $70 in that and get a tasting pass for $40. So do that. But overall, I thought everything was very good. My favorites were the barbecue melt and the chicken and smoked sausage skillet. The baked potato would have been a 10 if it wasn't so dry when you got to the bottom. They should have put some sour cream or barbecue sauce on that first instead of on top. Another item that would have been a 10 were the potato chips. If they would have gave us double that size, because that was $14 if you didn't use a tasting pass, it would have been well worth it. I know it was supposed to have a barbecue spice on there. That might have made it taste a little better, but I thought it was good even without that. And the funnel cake was the worst thing that I tried. The toppings were good. Whoever prepared it 
just left it in a little too long. Dollywood did a great job this year on the food. There was a lot of food we didn't try that looked good. And the music. This is a great festival to come to. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. building.